Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be Biblical number 81, Meaning and Symbolism. Let's get started now. In the Bible, Numbers 81 recounts several significant events that hold both meaning and symbolism. Here are a few key aspects to consider. In biblical numerology, numbers carry symbolic meaning and significance, often conveying spiritual messages. Number 81 is one such number that appears in the Bible, and it holds its own unique meaning and symbolism. Let's explore the biblical number 81 and its significance. The possible meaning of the number 81 is derived from both scripture and secular history. Roman Emperor Titus began his rule in 79 with the death of his father Emperor Vespasian. Titus, as general in 70 AD, led the Roman army to capture and destroy both Jerusalem and its temple. This complete destruction was predicted twice by Jesus, Matthew 24 verses 1 to 2, Luke 19 verses 41 to 44. He dies in 81 AD with his younger brother Domitian replacing him as emperor. It was also in 81 AD that the new emperor instituted Rome's second official state persecution of Christians. This policy led, near the end of Domitian's reign, to the Apostle John being banished to the island of Patmos in 95. John would not be set free until the following year. Rome's famous Arch of Titus, which graphically depicted the spoiling of Jerusalem and her temple, was begun in 81 after the death of the emperor. The menorah pictured in the middle of the relief was used as the inspiration for modern Israel's emblem of state, Israel national symbols. Arch of Titus showing spoils taken from Jerusalem's temple. Arch of Titus showing spoils taken from Jerusalem's temple. Appearances of the number 81. Scripture mentions at least 81 distinct animals, including bats, cranes, crocodiles, dragons, eagles, fleas, leopards, owls, peacocks, pelicans, ravens, spiders, unicorns, weasels, whales, wolves and worms. Number 81 and the Psalms. Psalm 81 is one of 12 songs written by Or for Azaph. He served as one of kind David's chief musicians who played instruments and sung at the temple, 1 Chronicles 15 verses 17 and 19. The book of Psalms, in the original Hebrew manuscripts of the Old Testament, is divided into five sections. Psalm 81 is in the third section that contains chapters 73 to 89. The general theme of the third section is the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple. This song is one of rejoicing for God's deliverance out of the bondage of Egypt. Sing aloud unto God our strength, shout for joy to the God of Jacob. Take up a melody and strike the drum, the pleasant lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, also at the full moon, on our solemn feast day. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. Verses 1 to 3, 10 HBFE. More info on biblical meaning of 81. According to the complete book of Bible lists, there are 81 animals mentioned in scripture. These include sheep, ox, bullocks, horses, lions, goats, fish, serpents and dogs. Surprisingly, no cats are mentioned in God's word. 1 Chronicles 6 is the only chapter that contains exactly 81 verses. The only chapters that have more verses are Numbers 7 and Psalms 119. Moses was 80 years old when he confronted Pharaoh in Egypt, Exodus 7 verse 7. He was 81 when the Israelites kept their second Passover in the wilderness of Sinai, Numbers 9 verse 1. He was also this age when, due to a lack of faith, the Israelites were punished with wandering the wilderness for 40 total years, chapters 13, 14. Thank you for visiting us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video.